All right, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> Getting right into it. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect. All right, this lesson is entitled, and this is uh, the after camp lesson. <clears throat> after camp in transit lesson, right? And it's going to be entitled, How Do You Know You Are Israelites? Now, those of you that saw camp, <clears throat> Shalom, Mexico, Shalom. Those of you that saw camp, you had um, three three Edomites rolled up. <clears throat> and then, but before that, you had two Ishmaelites, right? And they knew, and all these people knew we were Israelites. So obviously they've been watching. Either they were agents or they've been watching. Now, the one little guy that we call Holy Moly, <laughs> From Holy Moly Donut Shop, he basically was asking questions like, "How do we know we the Israelites, right?" He said, "How do we know?" But then he said he was an Israelite, and I didn't ask him how he knew. But one of the answers that I gave is, "Do we know through faith?" And we do know through faith. The whole us knowing who we are is all prophecy and faith. We're a lost people. You're not gonna be able to go and find, you know. I mean, I'm sure there are writings and things that exist, but you're not gonna just be able to prove it to these people that see. I got, you know, my birth certificate, it goes back to the tribe of, you know, Judah, this, that, and the other. You ain't going to be able to prove it that way. But the Most High gave us a foolproof way to know that we are Israelites. And what did he say? What did the Lord give us? He says here, now first, before we get it, yeah, good one, brother. The curses is how we would know. The brother saints of the Most High put that up. That's beautiful. I got our Romans chapter 8. <clears throat> when you deal with the scriptures in, in our heritage, you can't look at it from a carnal standpoint. You got to be spiritual about it. And when you're spiritual, it requires faith. Excuse me. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 5. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, Neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right? And you can't please the most high being in the flesh. And that's a fleshly argument. Esau wants, now here it is, the damn devil done hid everything, the artifacts. He done hid the records and confiscated everything from us so we couldn't possibly prove through those means that we're the Israelites. Then they'll come and ask you a question, prove that you're Israelites. He wants to say, well, according to the DNA, the haplo group, this the uh the bantu l gene <laughs> we can prove that we israelites and that ain't how you you know and furthermore we don't have to prove to you damn devils we don't have to prove anything to you we don't need your validation we know we the israelites and in that same chapter romans 8 and 16 says the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high so like you know heard something let me read it again romans 8 verse 16 it says the spirit itself bears, wit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. There's no people on the earth doing what we're doing right now. The Israelis ain't out there prophesying, you know, the downfall of America, Babylon the Great. The so-called white man Esau ain't prophesying about the downfall of America, right? Confounding uh, individuals at every turn through the Holy Spirit. They're not doing it. The only people you see doing it are the ones that said that they are Israelites and that's us. And we know through the spirit. Let's also get real quick. 1 Corinthians 2 Verse 9 says, But as it is written, I hath not heard, nor I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which be uh the things which the most high have prepared for them that love him. But the most high have revealed them to us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yeah, the deep things of the most high. These things are revealed unto us by the spirit. The Holy Spirit is how we know, right? Through faith. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of the Most High knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. 
If you ain't got the Holy Spirit, you cannot decipher. You need this word in order to discern what's going on in the spirit, man. And you need the Holy Spirit. So let, me, let me rephrase that. You need the Holy Spirit to discern this word and whether a man may possibly go back to the tribes of Israel. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can, uh, Salakia, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. These matters, whether you're Israelite, what particular tribe you may go back to, right? Uh, even going into the curses and breaking down this word. These are all things, even understanding the Bible. You got to have spiritual discernment for that. You need the Holy Spirit for that. And the brother got a good scripture, Tazakai Yahweh, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You got to have faith in order to get this, man. Like the old vampire movies, right? They take the stupid cross and they do like that and come at the vampire. And then you say, you got to have faith for that to work on me, right? But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. And holy moly, from the donut shop, he couldn't get that. Because he'd been to an Israeli, he'd been Israeli trained, Jewish trained, right? He said he knew how to speak Hebrew. But his friend knew that this was Paleo Hebrew. So, hey, them dudes could have been agents. Either, either way, it don't even matter. They didn't have the answers. They weren't ready. This is John 14 and 7, for, uh, 14 and 6. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. And I'm going to... uh take off on my journey now and then uh we'll chat chat it up while i'm going to my destination and when i get to my destination i will read two more scriptures and then you know we'll see you know what the spirit do but in any event yeah these people of the world they watching us as your brothers were saying on the comment board these heathens they worried man and they know we got the knowledge that was five people that was two arabs elamites whatever they were and you had three Edomites that rolled up, and they all said the words Hebrew Israelites. You, you guys, you Hebrew Israelites. And I asked the, uh, I asked Holy Moly. I said, "What, well, what gave me away? How y'all know, you know, Holy Moly and and, and Hawk me, <laughs> right?" I asked him, "How y'all know? How y'all know I'm a Hebrew Israelite? What gave me away?" And he tried to say, "Oh well, you know, it's this or that." Oh no, I, I think I asked the Edomite that, and he tried to talk around it. He said, "Oh well, it's because you were holding the Bible a certain way." And I said, well, many people hold the Bible a certain way. Give me something else. I said, man, don't be afraid to tell me, man. You ain't going to hurt my feelings. And then he went on to say, oh, because of just a certain zeal you had. I said, okay, I'll take that. I'll accept that. You know, but I know that ain't, reason. That ain't what it was. They've been watching us. That's what it is. And he noticed the fringes. You don't just come across a man and say because he got zeal, he wanted them Hebrew Israelites. Unless you've been watching them and you knew that the Hebrew Israelites had zeal. So obviously Esau watching Ishmael and the nations are watching. Elam is watching, man. But it's all good, though. Because what did the Lord say? He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men under me. Meaning he was talking about his own people. He going to draw the Israelites in these last days, man. As we read in the lesson, you know, at camp, John 6, 44. No man can come to, to the Savior unless the Most High draw you. Or no man can come to the Father except by the Savior. And no man can come to the Savior except the Father draw you. So, hey, it, it is what it is. But you got people that want carnal means. You want us to prove to you and carnal means that we're the Israelites. Well, we ain't got carnal means to prove it to you. You got to believe it according to the spirit. If you can't, hey, that's how we received it. But we all got taught the word by the apostles and elders and brothers through the Holy Spirit. And we know we Israelites. And you can't tell us no different. We know it. How do we know? Because the Lord put the spirit on us to know, man. As a brother put on the comment board uh, in Ezekiel 36. You know, he said he'll put his spirit in us and he'll cause us to follow his statutes and his commandments, man. And that's that's where we're at right now. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing what the Most High is doing in the earth. It's a beautiful, beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful day, beautiful weather, you know. And it was just like a regular routine camp. But then all of a sudden, you got heathens that want to roll up and ask questions. And that's, and that's fine that they do that, you know. 
And that just show you brothers out there, man, no matter where you go, that's why everything is all about faith. Like the brother put up, if the brother can put up uh, Hebrews 11 and one, put that one up, you know, instead of just a Hebrews 11 and six, put up Hebrews 11 and one, because when you go out and teach the word, no matter where you go, you have Jake's come on the comment board and say, you niggas on this, why y'all teach here? You ain't in the hood, you did this. You go to this place. Well, you just go where the spirit leads you to go. And the most high will bring those. So like it, brothers, hold on. Me. The spirit will bring those right where you are, man. The most high is, is conducting everything according to the spirit. See? Right, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right? And by it, the elders obtain the good report. And to water to the two brothers that posted that, Tazakaya Howard and, and Kalal Arya. Yeah, everything is according to faith and according to the spirit. And if you have faith enough and you go teach the word, you can go and set up wherever you want to go set up. We at the time now where <coughs> we know the famine of the word is approaching. And brothers may go back, like the Dallas brothers, they went back to their normal spot last night and prophesied, which was which was dope. You know? And I started to go back to my normal spot today, but I really didn't want to be bothered with the people. But Really, in reality, the spirit led me to go, go back to the boardwalk and set up, and that's why I went. And still, what happened? Still, people came and inquired about, you know, which, which they really was just, they were just being dicks, you know, whatever it is. It's a odd, it's a strange day when Edomites roll up on you first. Oh no, what? How did it go? When Elon roll up on you first, asking questions, and then right after that, Esau rolls up. It's just a strange, you know, it's a strange thing, man. You know, but hey. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a, how can a man understand his own way? So the Most High have never happened that He wants to happen. But those questions that certain people are going to ask, these certain uh, let me close this up. But certain uh, so-called Bible scholars and whatnot, like this guy wanted to vaunt himself because he'd been to a college and he said he studied Hebrew, talking about holy moly now, talking about he studied Hebrew and this and that with his hairy arms and chest going on and on about you know which them guys got revealed they ain't israelites them dudes is heathens man more than likely they heathens about god is for all people no he's not the most high is not for all people real israelites know that we know that through the spirit that our god yahweh by hashem yahweh shah the god of abraham isaac and jacob is not here for no damn heathen nations man he only here for the israelites that scattered among the heathen nations yeah but not for the heathens themselves you see let me see here while I'm at the light. Yeah, yeah, Ron, y'all Israel put it up. Ezekiel 37, 14, I can't read it, but he said he'll put his spirit in us and we'll live, right? And we standing upon our feet now. And I even told him heathens that. I said, hey, Bible prophecy shows where the Israelites, and also we know about prophecy, but you receive prophecy how? Through faith. The most high didn't just leave us with nothing. We do have prophecy and nobody can gainsay it nor resist it. And you can't debunk it. Nobody's been able, hey man, if anybody could debunk us being the Israelites, they would have done it by now. Because they damn sure have been trying, but they hadn't been able to stop us. The Christianity can't do it. Christianity is not well, we're not studied enough. Which really, you wouldn't really have to be studied enough. If we weren't the Israelites, you would easily be able to prove that we're not. The same way we're proving that the people in Israel now are not Jews so easily through the Bible. They should be able to easily disprove what we're teaching, but they can't do it. Why? Because of the unction from the Holy One. We know all things, man. You know, through the scriptures, through the, you know, through the spirit of, of, of your how about Shimmy Howard Shah. These people ain't got nothing for us. And this this uh fourth quarter or this uh this eleventh hour that we going into now, now that the the lockdown is easing up. But hey, before we know it, it could be another another wave of coronavirus or more severe things coming along, austerity measures. You know, and uh, draconian legislation and all the things, the New World Order, the police state, the things that are coming. There's a little bit of time left. The Most High left a little bit of space and time. We believe that we're going to be able to prophesy again out on the highways and hedges. That's the way it looks right now. I don't know. We can't say 100%, but the way it looks is that we're going to go back to prophesying on the highways and hedges. So in this remaining time that we got left, shit could get a little wild. They're going to be sending people to try, and try to test our knowledge, but go ahead and come. Go ahead and come test our knowledge. But if you roll up with the Talmud, your ass is cooked. If you roll up with anything other than the Bible, and even if you roll up with the Bible, you ain't ready, man. So you brothers out there, you already see it. Study up, pray up, get ready, man, because these, these heathens and shit, they're going to try to roll up on us. 
and asking us questions, but they're gonna we're gonna make fools out of them. And in the process, we're gonna make outstanding videos. <laughs> Lord willing, man. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to go and teach the word of the most high, man, in the face of all comers. And the spirit of the Lord is gonna come out victorious every time. Every time. A perfect record, man. You know? But yeah, when people wanna you want some kind of tangible, and I asked the guy, I said, so you're looking for tangible proof, you know? Why people come up on us, they think that they bullshitting us. Hey, you can't bullshit a bullshitter. Dude, we are Jacob, man. That's what we do. <laughs> Jacob is, hey, we'll pull one over on you quick, man. So why you think you playing us? You ain't playing us, we playing you, right? I had that damn camel jockey, he didn't know if he was coming or going. Shit, that, you know, I'm just basically just acting as if I'm just doing my normal teaching. We're battle tested and ready for you devils, man. You devils and you heathen, we ready for you. You ain't been, hey, like I said in camp, we gonna grill the shit out of you. Especially you Edomites. Especially you Christians, man. You Christians, you better not come up on us asking us no questions. We gonna start asking you questions. If you wanna lean on Jesus, yeah, we gonna start asking you hard questions that you cannot answer. And we gonna ask you, purposely ask you certain questions that only way you gonna be able to answer them is you gonna incriminate yourself when you answer the questions. So, Hey, do your best. Do your best, devils. And you other nations, you know you ain't got nothing to say. You Arabs and you other nations, man, when you start talking about your false gods, you ain't ready either, man. You ain't got nothing for the Israelites. You got nothing for the Hebrew Israelites, man. The whole world's about to get their ass whooped. And the scripture tells us plainly that everybody's not going to receive the truth. Even if we break it down to you perfectly, the Lord said in John chapter 14, he's going to give us the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it knoweth him not, uh, seeth him not, neither knoweth him. So the whole world can't get this. And you brothers out there, don't try to make two thirds get it. You you know, you, you do the best you can do. And these, these new Israelites is waking up. You fighting those battles that we already fought. You still trying to teach your family. You still feel bad because your cousin, your favorite cousin don't understand that we the Israelites and that Esau is the white man. You, you still, bothered by that we're not we already graduated from that shit i'm past that man only thing i'm looking to do now is when i hear from my family i'm either looking for them to either say a they're ready to hear more about the israelites or b they're ready to tell me what family member done dropped dead because they're gonna drop dead man they're gonna be dying in, in numbers you know as i've been keeping an act uh, you know a, a record i got between 10 and 12 family members that have dropped dead or that died they didn't just fall out dead but they have died since I came into this truth in 2009, I got about 12, I came, maybe 13, 10, 12, or 13 family members that have died. And they all knew that I taught the truth. And they knew that we was, you know, what they've been told. I can't say that they, they didn't receive it. But they all been told that we was the Israelites. They didn't receive it. So you know what? Hey, it is what it is, man. Nothing I can do about it. All you can do is tell them, you know, warn them, and that's all you can do, man. Woo! All you can do is one. Oh Lord, I thought I was getting some food from here, but I'm not. This drive-through is too backed up. Won't be going there. Alrighty. Anyway, so you know, what I will do is let me let me read a couple of more scriptures here before we go on our way. Damn. And you know, most places now you gotta you gotta go through the drive-through if you want to get food, cause they're not allowing people to go in. But I ain't ready to wait behind no damn. 10 and 12 cars, man. I just can't do it. I ain't got the patience. So let's read here. This is John 17. And this also goes with the name of the Lord because you got Israelites that want to know how you know that, like the dudes, how you know that's the right name? How do you know this? How you know that? Look, man, if you ain't got faith, you know, that's on you. This is John 17, verse 6, verse 5. Oh, and now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory of which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me close that window. It says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. So like it. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. This word had to be manifested unto you. Even 
hey, coming to the knowledge that we was Israelites, even believing in the Son of the Most High, all has to be given to you through the Spirit, man. Right? Beautiful. Salvation is near 144, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the Scriptures might have hope. Right? That Old Testament, man. You see? But things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. Um... Yeah, Lord willing that you do catch them. So, you know, the things that are given, let me go back and read this again. John 17 and 6, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. See, the elect is going to get this word, and it's going to be revealed unto them by the Spirit of the Lord, man. Verse 8, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them. You got to receive it through the Spirit. And have known sh have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. Let's jump down to the end now. John 17 and 25. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. See that? So the Lord had to manifest this thing unto us. This is 1 John 2 and 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One and ye know all things. Now before we go on, it's, it's said that we have an unction from the Holy One, right? Let's look that word up. <clears throat> Let me turn this volume up too as well. All right. Now let's look this up. 1 John 2, 20, but you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. When you look up this word unction, it says this. Strong's G, 5545. Chrisma. Chrisma. Right. Unction is chrisma. And it says this. It says... I had to tell the person to go around. It says an unguent, an unguent, or an anointing. Right. It says, i.e., the special endowment, chrism of the Holy Spirit, anointing, unction. You get a special endowment if you of the elect. The Lord will give you, and I can't say it because some people had the Holy Spirit and then they fall out, which they would, would, would wind up not being the elect. But those that the Lord is dealing with, they get a special anointing, an unction, a special endowment of the Holy Spirit. It says anything smeared on, unguent, ointment, usually prepared by the Hebrews from oil and aromatic herbs, anointing was inaugural ceremony for priests. So going back, it says an unguent or smearing, i.e. the special endowment, chrism or chrism of the Holy Spirit. So... While these people sitting there trying to look for carnal things, it's easily proven through the spirit of the most high. It's easily given unto those whom he will. It's just like with anything else, man. The Lord said he ain't going to reveal this unto everybody, but only to the elect. So while the people of the world are going to ask for this and for that to prove this and prove that, hey, we can't prove it to you that way. If the Lord don't give it to you, you can't get it. Bottom line, you got to have an unction, a chrisma, of the Holy Spirit, and that's the only way. A special anointing, right? A special endowment given unto you of the Lord of hosts, and that's the only way you're going to get it, man. <coughs> Turn it down, Al. Shit freezing me. Yeah, you got to have a special endowment of the Holy Spirit. We read that in Romans 8, right? He has revealed them unto us by his Spirit, man, and that's fire right there. And you know, the lesson pretty much, that's, that's pretty much the point, man. Yeah, that's Mark 16. That's a, that's a good one. I can't read it now. I'm moving again. Because I got to, you know, procure me and the wife some food here. Instead of going straight home, got to get this get this food. She ain't cooking. So we get a little something to munch on. Which we actually want something that's pretty decent instead of just some normal, you know, some normal punk-ass fast food. Right, right. Yep, Matthew 13, 11. Until you it is given. That's right. See, that is, and it's all there. It's just, but see these different questions that people ask, they're going to be answered the same way. The scriptures don't change. We're just going to answer you the same way. 
because that's why I said in Isaiah 8 and 20, right? Uh, if they speak down according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. You got to be given that light, right? You got to be given that light, man. And really, in uh, Isaiah 8 and 20, talking about the Holy Bible, of course. But you, the Lord got to give you that eye salve. Can a brother put up the eye salve? Put it out of um, it's in Revelation. I think it's chapter 3, but I might be wrong. You know, put that one up and we, you know, when I get a chance at the light, I'll read it. You got to get the eye salve to, to see this. What was that one? Ecclesiastes, Gray, Ephesians 5. Okay, that's dealing with something else. Yeah, Tazakai, Yahweh, the Second Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel should be revealed unto them. See? You can't get it if you ain't got that light, man. That's just the bottom line. <coughs> the light of the glorious gospel got to be revealed unto you. I got to get through these lights here. Yeah. Yep, and it, there it is again. Romans 8, 16. The Spirit itself bears, bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if you don't believe it, so what? We don't need your validation, heathens. Tazakai Yahweh got it. I can't read it right at this second, though. <clears throat> Let me make this light and turn. Oh, okay. You asshole. It's lock here. Revelation 3 and 18. Tazakai Yahweh. Yahweh, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be clothed and white raiment that thou mayest be uh, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed <clears throat> uh, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. I've messed it all up. I'll read it when I stop. I can't. <clears throat> Yeah, man. But without that that eye salve, without that anointing, that uh, and I don't really like to say that because you got these people in the church because of the anointing. I don't like you know, but it is an anointing, a special endowment of the Holy Spirit that you gotta have. You got people cars breaking down, all kind of shit, man. Damn. Let me go on through the damn light. Shit, cars breaking down, a couple of accidents I done seen there. The water you how about shimmy how shot it ain't happened to me because i narrowly avoided one back there man the dude had the signal light on then at last minute wanted to go straight it almost hit me Shit. anyway i'm almost to my destination but i'm gonna stop and read this last scripture that the brother had man yeah psalm 147 19 by Tariq jones he showed his word unto jacob and only jacob is gonna receive this whole word only jacob can break these scriptures down like that right you so-called white people is the people of the Lord. Uh, and you people in Israel, if you're a Jew for real, why you got to go to the Talmud instead of the Holy Bible there, my nigga? <laughs> you can't. You got to go make a whole new book. Then you got to lie. You ain't got to lie, Craig. If you if you really the people of the Lord, you wouldn't have to lie. Like I said earlier today, if you was, if, if the Israelis was really Israelites, man, would nobody be able to uh, confound the people in the scriptures. They'd be coming out <clears throat> with all kind of videos. But you see brothers in the spirit bringing out all kinds of lessons. Why? Because of that special endowment of the Holy Spirit that we got on us, man. And it didn't get like that because of it ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with us. Like, we all great. No, it's got to do with, with the most high. <clears throat> These fucking people, man. These motherfuckers cannot drive. Damn. Got these fucking dogs hanging out the door, out the window and shit. You wasn't ready, man. I ain't going to sit there and wait on your slow, slow driving ass. So real quick, I'm in the drive-thru now. So this is, uh, shit, uh, I'm going to find it. Tazakai, you how would have had that, that I sell, man. Revelation chapter 3 and 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous, therefore, and repent, I think. I may have to just look it up. <clears throat> Oh, okay, I got it. Tazakai Yahweh, the Re Revelation 3.18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich 
and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see right. We got to anoint our eyes with eye salve that we see, you know, or that the Lord going to give us that eye salve to be able to see it. So, hey, the point is made, brothers. That's the lesson right there. I got to go. All praise you. How about you? How shy? You how about you? How shy? But rock a thumb to all of you out there. Double on to the apostles of Great Millstone, man. All right. See you again soon, Lord willing. Shalom.